Hey guys, how are you? I hope that you're okay. I hope that you are safe at home. I hope that your family has been um, okay. I hope that um, <sighs> the hurricane is not uh, damaging you in any sort of way. Um, I hope and that um, you can have access to the internet and electricity every day because it's very frustrating, at least for me. Um, to um, not have electricity or power um, so I hope that you don't have to suffer that this week we are going to continue reading um, Rare Player One and taking uh, important facts I'm gonna show you one example and then you're gonna do the rest the other day I taught you how to take uh, important facts from a story and that's gonna help you when you have to make a video um, based on that okay um, so we'll see how that goes for you um, I hope that you are um, okay and ready let's go to page 25 in page 25 we are going to start remember have your notebook on hand and your pencil or pen in hand so you can take your notes remember that I took my notes with a marker because it's thicker so I can see the um, the annotations the notes important facts uh, main ideas how wh whatever you want to call them in a bigger letter okay so go get your notebook and oh yeah your, your notebook and if you have your book you can have it on hand so you can read it with me and um, I'm gonna give you some of them and at the end the last pages I'm gonna assign a couple pages that you read alone um, that you're gonna have to read them and get the important facts from those okay so I hope that you are safe at home and let's start this Let's go to page 25 and let's write in your notebook the date. So today is Monday, uh, November the 16th, 2020. Monday, November the 16th, um, 2020. Uh, and um, the topic is important facts or you can just continue in the page that we started the other day. 13 to 19. My cats are out of control for some reason. My sister sent me a cat to take care of and she's very noisy and she's apparently very angry. So if you hear them meowing or purring or doing noises, it's because they're angry because they want to go out, but they're not going anywhere. So let's start this. Uh, page 25. So remember that we started and we were doing the last paragraph from page 25. That's where we are going to start. So uh, from the last part of page 25, let's read. What you can do is divide the paragraphs by uh, uh, the pages by small paragraphs. So you can say, okay, so this page has three paragraphs, four paragraphs. So, I so from this page, I have to have four main ideas or four main facts or three main ideas or five main ideas. So when you look at a paragraph, I'm gonna show you the example in a book, uh, okay. So let's say that this book, okay, so this book has a lot of paragraph, but you can see this one is one paragraph, another one, and probably this can be another one, or this a very small one and this. But remember, if the paragraph is too small, the ideas are way too many details. You need to be a little more broader when you're finding your uh, important facts. They have to be general ideas in it. So I would say one paragraph, two, and probably three so you already know that you have to read till a certain point and then get the main idea and copy it in your notebook okay let's do it I was halfway through the fourth episode of my family ties mini marathon he was watching an 80s show when the laundry room door creaked oh he's in his aunt's room and my aunt Alice walked in a malnourished harpy in a house coat she's malnourished because she doesn't eat very well Clutching a basket of dirty clothes, she looked more lucid than usual, which was bad news. She was much easier to deal with when she was high. It means that she uses drugs, but in this time she doesn't. Now, something, that's something that is kind of common in the, in the state of Ohio, according to what I understood, I'm hoping that I'm not offending anybody, is that some people, well, everybody uses drugs, but I, only, I mean, I know Ohio and part of West Virginia. So people says, or it's been heard, that they um, that they use drugs and because they're they're like in a poor state 
economically or mentally. So uh, that's not something that is weird for people to know. So please don't be alarmed to know that there's people in the world that uses drugs. She glanced over me with her usual look of disdain and started to load her clothes in the washer. Disdain is hate. Then her expression changed and she peeked around the dryer to get a better look at me. Her eyes went wide when she spotted my laptop. I quickly closed it and began to shove it into my backpack, but I knew it was already too late. Hand it over, Wade, she ordered, reaching for the laptop. I can pawn it to help pay or rent. So what's happening in here is that he was watching a show very happily in the, in the laundry room where they wash their clothes. Um, and then her auntie come, his auntie comes and um, she needs money for the drugs and also she needs money for the food and for the rent because she's paying a rent to live in there. So she takes his computer and then she's gonna sell it for money that she can pay the rent. Obviously she's not gonna pay the rent, she's gonna get drugs. So the main idea there could be, and I'm gonna write it, only one example and you're gonna continue by yourself. So let's write it in here. So I can write it in here, I can say uh, page 22 if you want to pay uh, 25 if you want to write a reference for when the page is coming from because remember you're gonna I'm gonna tell you the video the exposition that you're gonna make it's about uh, pages 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40 okay so you should know because that sounds like a lot but you already have your important facts with numbers of pages then you already know what are the things that you can read or before you say your exposition so we're gonna write page 25 as a reference from where is that information coming and then we write in there Wade is watching a show but his aunt comes and takes his computer to sell it, okay, to sell it um, for rent or money now that's kind of rude because how would you feel if you're watching a show and i mean maybe your family needs money for the rent and then you see your phone or your tablet and they're like hand it over i'm gonna sell it so i can pay your rent that's not nice she is his family so she should be nicer to him but she's not so you're gonna write the name of the page even if we make facts from the same page again so you write page 25 and then another fact so you write the name of the page and then the important fact now that is the example that I'm going to give you today and that's it. You're going to do the rest, okay? Let's do it. Page 26. Pay attention. No! I shouted, twisting away from her. Come on, Aunt Alice. I need it for school. What you need is to show some gratitude, she barked. Everyone else around here has to pay rent. I'm tired of you leeching off of me. You keep all of my food vouchers. That's more than covers my share of the rent. The hell it does! She tried again to grab the laptop out of my hands, but I refused to let go of it. So she turned and stomped back to her room. I knew what was coming next. So I quickly entered a command on my laptop that locked its keyboard and erased the hard drive. Aunt Alice returned a few seconds later with her boyfriend Rick, who was still half asleep. Rick was perpetually shirtless, not wearing a shirt. Without saying a word, he walked over and raised a fist as, as, uh, at me threateningly, like this. I flinched and handed over the, the laptop. Then he and Aunt Alice walked out, already discussing how much the computer might fetch at a, to at a pawn shop. So I'm reading uh, page 26, and maybe I can make two, uh, these two, um, uh, if you look in your book, it's two um, 
paragraphs that you have to uh, make into one comment so you can write in there page 26 now something that I want to explain you over here is that uh, I think that we didn't talk to okay something that you need to know about poverty in the United States in the United States they have social programs so when you are poor and you struggle getting a job or getting any kind of help um, the government you go to into the social assistance office i don't really know its name because i have i mean i don't it's not my fault to the topic but you uh, are assisted by the government if you don't have enough money or uh, if you don't have a job yet they help you with uh, vouchers little papers that says that this represents uh, an, a specific amount of money uh, to pay for food before donald trump if i'm not incorrect and i hope that nobody gets offended because i'm ignorant so I just talk about what I know, and I know little about topics. Um, the people used to get vouchers. Uh, there were coupons that you could take to the gas stations and give them. Even Hispanic people did. And after Donald Trump, that changed. I know that gas stations were not allowed to uh, change those coupons. And I think that in Obama's time, it was a little better. I'm pretty sure that I'm ignorant and I'm mistaken on that. Maybe that should be the video that I show that I should show you. A video about how coupon system works in there. Um, um, so in this time, that's what they get when people doesn't have a job and they're looking for a job, or if you're a minor and if you don't have a family, the government gives you a small coupon or a small kind of like a check, and you can take it to a store and trade it to change it, switch it for food. But for important things, you cannot buy clothes with it or you cannot buy a computer with it. So her, uh, his aunt keeps the vouchers and he, she doesn't give anything to him because those are food vouchers. So she buys the food, doesn't give him any food because she works fixing computers to buy his own food. And now she wants him to pay the rent when he doesn't really have money. And when she doesn't get what she wants, which is the computer, she goes and gets Rick the boyfriend and she punches and he punches Wade and then they, they take the computer away. So for page 26, that would be the first um, important fact. You can write page 26, um, Aunt Alice and Rick, the boyfriend, take the computer away from Wade even if they keep the, coup the food coupons from him. So now he doesn't have a computer. Let's continue reading 26. Losing the laptop wasn't a big deal. I had two spares stored in my hideout, but they weren't nearly as fast, and I would have to reload all of my media into them from backup drives. A total pain in the butt. That's a bad word. But it was, I'm sorry, this book is the one we chosen, and um, we need to have an open mind to things that are incorrect, so we know what's not correct, and we know that we shouldn't use it. Um, but it was my own fault. I knew the risk of bringing anything of value back here, back to Aunt Alice. The dark blue light of dawn was starting to creep in through the laundry room window. I decided it might be a good idea to leave for school a little early today. So he goes to school. I didn't know that. I dressed as quickly and quietly as possibly, pulling onto the worn corduroys, baggy sweater, and oversized coat that comprised my entire winter, wa winter wardrobe. And winter is very cold in Ohio, so maybe he needed something more, but he's poor. Then I put on my backpack and then climbed up into the washing machine. After pulling on my gloves, I... Oh, if he's wearing gloves, it's cold. I slid open the frost-covered window. The arctic morning air stung my cheeks and as, as I guessed out the ov over the uneven sea of trailer rooftops. So he's, he's living in a trailer, but remember, it's one on top of the other, on top of the other, on top of the other. My end trailer was the top eunuch in a stack. 22 mo mobile homes high. So can you imagine 22 homes, one on top of the other? He has to go down all that making it a level or two taller than the majority of the stacks immediately surrounded it the trailers at the bottom level rested on the ground or on their original concrete foundations but the units stack above them were suspended in a reinforced modular scaffold a half hazard metal lattice work that had been constructed piecemeal over the years 
We live in Portland Avenue stacks, sprawling high of the, in these colored thin boxes rusting on the shores of I-40 just west of Oklahoma City. He's giving an address. I have never knew how to understand addresses in the States. So let's go a little to the beginning of the paragraphs. It's three paragraphs on one thing. So let's make a main idea. We can write pa page number 26. After he loses the laptop, he is sad, but he has another one that is not very uh, fast. Now he has to go to school with not a lot of clothes because he's poor. And he lives in a 22 stack mobile home tower. So you know those facts because we, that's gonna be really important later. Okay, let's go to page 27. The kind scraper score, it was a collection. I hope you're copying the important facts. Because, I mean, I'm not going to give them to you. You're supposed to be copying from them. Something that is very useful to you is um, you can uh, be copying important facts while I'm reading or while you're reading with me. So you can kind of have something when I tell you kind of like the explanation of what the page is. But uh, in a real world, in a real world class, when you go to Miss Kirsten and later when you go to university, the teacher talks and you take notes. There's no Mr. I didn't forget, can you repeat? That doesn't exist. So you have to get used to be listening, comprehending, and copying at the same time very quickly. Because that's also something that is going to help you in life. When you go to a line and you see an instruction, you continue walking when you're reading from a distance so you know what you're going to do. So you don't have to sit and read again in order for you to understand. You have to be able to process information in a quicker way and summarize it into something smaller and easier to comprehend. Page 27. The King Scraper score, it was a collection of over 500 individual stacks. So that's where he lives in Skyper, the King Scraper score. All connected to each other by makeshift network of recycled pipes, girders, support beams, and foot bridges. The spires of a dozen ancient construction crane used, used to do the actual stacking were positioned around the stacks ever spanning out a perimeter. So it's every, every day is getting bigger. The top of our roof, the top or roof of the stacks was blanketed with a patchwork array of old solar panels that provided supplemental power to the units below. So they don't have electricity, they have solar power. A bundle of hoses and corrugated tubbing snaked up and down the side of each stack, supplying water to each trailer and carrying away sewage. They have toilets, but they need pipes to take it away. Luxury is not available in some of the other stacks scattered around the city, so some places don't have a bathroom. They have to go poop outside. Very little sunlight made it to the bottom level we know known as the floor. The dark narrow strips of green between the stacks were clothed with the skeletons of abandoned cars and trunks. Their gas tanks emptied and their exit routes blocked off long ago. So in there we can see how he is describing the place where he lives. So maybe for this paragraph you can write page 27. Uh, Wade lives in a, a very strange neighborhood made with um, uh, what is the name of those uh, stacks of uh, it's setting here um, cranes the cranes are the things that are putting them together so you can write right in there Wade lives in a stack in a, in a very weird neighborhood made with the stacks of cranes where people live they don't have electricity they have so sunlight, uh, sunlight power, comma. Some of them have a, a bathroom so they can go and do their needs. And, uh, and in the bottom or the floor of the neighborhood, there's a bunch of cars that are destroyed and they don't get a lot of sun. That could be. Okay, so this last paragraph that we are going to read from one off to two is the last part of 28. And that's where you, oh, the 27, sorry. And that's what you are, we, we are going to do the last uh, important fact from 27. Let's do it. One of our neighbors, Mr. Miller, once explained to me that trailer parks like ours had originally consisted of a few dozen mobile homes arranged in neat rows on the ground. 
But after the oil crash and the onset of the energy crisis, large cities have been flooded with refugees from surrounded suburban and rural areas, resulting in a massive urban housing shortage. Real estate within walking distance of a big city became far too valuable to waste on a flat plane of mobile homes. So someone had cooked up the brilliant idea of as Mrs. Miller put it, stacking the, I'm not gonna say that because it's another bad word, to maximize the use of ground space. The idea caught in a big way and trailer parks across the country have quickly evolved into stacks like this one. Something that I have to tell you is that some poor people in the States, they have to live in trailer parks. Trailer parks are, I don't know if you've ever seen a semi, but we call it trailers. So those trailer cars that you see, the people uses the container bag and they make houses with those, kind of, but they're not, I mean, they're not creepy. They're actually, they have a bathroom, they have a sink, they have beds, they're very small, but like if you're very poor, you would live in a, kind of like in a trailer park. And people like that are mistreated kind of by the place of where they live. I think it's perfectly okay. Strange hybrids of sh shanty towns, quieter settlements, and refugee camps, they were now scattered around the outskirts or major cities, each one overflowing with uprooted rednecks like my parents. A redneck is a person that belongs to a specific, kind of like a rural area, and sometimes they, um, they have their own culture that don't be, don't, a lot of people doesn't agree with. Um, who desperate for work, food and electricity, and reliable oasis access, had fled their dying small towns and had used the last of their gasoline, or their vests of burden, to haul their families, RVs, and trailer homes to the nearest metropolis. So people was living in trailer. Every stack of four packs stood at least 15 mobiles high with the occasional RV, shipping container, Airstream trailer, or WV, uh, BW microbus mix it for variety. In recent years, many of the stacks had grown to a height of 20 units or more. This made a lot of people nervous. Stack collapses weren't that uncommon, as it, and if the scaffold supports buckle in the wrong way, angle, the dominant effect would bring down four or five of the neighborhoods neighboring stacks too because these these 20 cars on top of the uh, trailers on top of the other if one falls pushes the other which pushes pushes the other so you can write for the last one on 27 page 27 you can write in there uh, the place where uh, Wade lives is very dangerous because of the state of what the materials they use to make the houses you can write in there that this trailer parks were turned into these trailer stacks and poor people has to live with them with not a lot of access of water or uh, it's very uncomfortable to, to go 22 uh, uh, floors up if that's where you live. Try to imagine if you live in, in floor 22, you have to go down 21 floors before you can go anywhere. So uh, this is kind of like a reality in the States still because a lot of people has to live in that kind of like situation. Because as I told you, a lot of people get help from the government, but they don't always respect that help. Sometimes people steal the money from their food stamps and they uh, buy something different that is not specifically food. So today we're going to make it until 27. Tomorrow we are going to continue with 28. Remember you're taking your own uh, comments because those are going to help you to make your video. So uh, we'll continue tomorrow. I hope you're okay and I send you a lot of care from here. Remember, copy all your comments with your own words. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow for 28. Bye, guys.